Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Champions League draw analysis. It is just happened a little ago. Still digesting it, so I invite you to come and digest it with me. We're looking at I did all the calculations. I looked once over. Um, but I think it's probably best to look at it together and let's see whether uh, the numbers back up the feelings that we have for each of these groups. I mean, there's one group that clearly stands out, which is of course Group C uh, as the group of death. But honestly, I think it's far not the most balanced one because of Victoria Pilsen in there. So uh, we'll see about that. Wearing Milan for Champions League, I was wearing Milan away jersey. As a Milan fan, I'm so and so. Uh, I didn't necessarily want to see Chelsea or any other English team because that's immediately tough to play. I didn't necessarily want to see Salzburg because their high intensity style Milan has not been playing well against such teams. So that has me a little teeny bit worried on the other side. Uh, it's a group where, yes, you have a chance of making it out in the air as one of the top two, but you will not win the most likely will not win the group. But you know, who knows? Uh, many things can still uh, happen. One positive uh, one would say, I mean, Salzburg is just uh, less than a one and a half hours drive from where I am from. It would be a great opportunity to see Milan live in situ, so to uh, speak. However, the problem that I have is that I don't necessarily want to register for a Red Bull account to get the salt the, the tickets and then in, in addition, uh, the stadium is small enough that they will probably sell out with um, or for with you know, a co um, combination ticket for all three games, which is more than I want to invest in. So yeah, maybe if there's a chance and it's a reasonable price and maybe I can have someone watch, maybe it would be fun to see it. But on the other side, I would be going there as an away fan. I've never been in the stadium in, Salz in Salzburg. So yeah, I, I, I'm a, honestly, I'm a little bit apprehensive. Uh, the, uh, this, I have never been to that state, uh, stadium and I have kind of made a personal embargo on that stadium uh, ever since the Red Bull group took over. I have been a lot at the old Salzburg Stadium, which was basically a dump, but it was fun. Enough talking. Let's look first at the draw by itself. Um, have it here. I think that Group A has at least the best worst team. So the the highest card of, I think this is a very interesting group where Liverpool probably is towering above the rest, but Ajax, Napoli, Rangers, I think it could be a tight uh, race for the second spot. I thought the way it developed Group B is just an absolute, is not an interesting group at all. I think Atletico Madrid and Porto can renew their ri rival, you know, Atletico Madrid completely undeservedly uh, eliminated Porto from the Champions League last year. Leverkusen in current form is probably only third best team, maybe in fourth best, because Club Bruges can really do something as well. So yeah, uh, I think it's an interesting group per se, but I think it's not a group that's very exciting. All the excitement goes to Group C. Bayern, Barcelona, Lewandowski, uh, we we using for old friends. I think Bayern will still steamroll Barcelona and to add for good measure Inter in there, which seems to be the most Europe-ready Italian team. So uh, that's going to be a highly competitive, very interesting group. I actually think that Bayern will win this one relatively handily, uh, but it will definitely it will be definitely between Barcelona and Inter for second spot. And will Victoria Pilsen have three wonderful home games? You want, and you know, I, 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 I remember Slavia Prague when they made it in 18, they also had a similar group. And then you always thought that, uh, I think it was Barcelona, Inter and Dortmund. And he thought they're not gonna, gonna make a point. And then they got a few points in there were actually the reason why Inter got eliminated. So um, watch Victoria Pilsen. They're gonna get a point here and there. Uh, Group D, Spurs must be so happy. I mean, you get Eintracht Frankfurt, uh, Sporting and uh, Marseille. It is a rather, I think they're all relatively even, except for Spurs, a little bit like Group, Group A, but not as high profile. The Milan group, as, as I said, I mean, on paper, it's Chelsea, Milan, then Salzburg and Zagreb. But, you know, there's some history between Salzburg and Zagreb. Um, and they are Chelsea, we don't know where they are. Milan, I'm not quite, quite sure. I think it's also, um, I would say it's between Salzburg and Milan for the second spot that we had before, 94, 95. 
Uh, group A for Real Madrid will be very happy with that one. Although I think Leipzig could hurt them a little bit. They're playing for the third time in a row against Schachter and Celtic is also in there. And I think they would think that they have a shot unlike Rangers. Although Rangers might have... Don't underestimate Rangers. Group G. Holland is coming back to City. There's a Sevilla team in there that I have no idea how good they, they, they will be. I think on paper this is City against Dortmund. I think this was also a quarterfinal not too long ago. That was much tighter than one would, would expect. Uh, Copenhagen, of course, could be a little deciding um, part in there as well. And then Group H. Uh, don't sleep on that one. Um, Macau Haifa is not going to make much, but PSG, Juve, Benfica, you had problems with Portuguese teams. I think that Benfica could uh, throw a wrench in there. Now, uh, on the next uh, slide, I basically show you have here all the groups and we have the ratings that I've um, calculated again from uh, the ELO rating, from the 538 uh, SPI rating and of course from bookmakers odds. And it actually gives us a little bit of an idea of how even those groups are. We actually really see that probably the closest group might be even group B. Um, we see that group D is relatively tied together as is group E. So those are relatively strong groups. And of course, group A is in there as well. You see group C has a really, really high average, but it's three teams above the uh, above Victoria Pilsen. And then you see the last three, they're very clear favorites in there. And then the rest goes for second place. So just to get an overall feeling how these uh, might pan out. But... I think it's all about projections. I did some calculations. Now we go group by group and I've sorted now here the teams of how I expect them to finish or at least by the probability of advancing. And to the very right, you see a bar and the red bar says, yeah, uh, the chances of advancing have decreased and it tells you by how much. With green, it, uh, it's increased. So kind of uh, red, you're not so happy. Green, you're very happy. And we see Liverpool uh, is uh, expected to win Group, group A and play basically got, got the group as, as much as I would they would have expected. But Ajax definitely got a little bit tougher. Napoli a little bit tougher and Rangers a little bit tougher. Tell tells tell, it's a very even group. Whereas Group B, almost everyone is happy in there. Maybe the least happy is Porto, but you know, it's just, just a tad in the, in the green. Of course, Group C. Bayern knew that they will probably get an, a tough opponent, um, but you know they are not as much Im Im impact as Barcelona, Inter, and especially Victoria Pilsen completely had their chances shattered. Group D, everyone but Frankfurt really happy in there because you got the lowest uh, or the nominated the weakest team in this group, so uh, makes it definitely interesting. Group E tells a Pretty telling story, the feeling that I had. Uh, Chelsea is probably happy with this group. Um, Milan, Salzburg, so and so. I mean, so also Salzburg are, 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 are very happy because they find it a very attractive group. And for them, it's just to, you know, <laughs> it's celebration time. Zagreb actually got off a little bit easier, but you know, it is very much as expected. It's neither bad nor good, it's just uh, down the middle. Group F, I think everyone but Schachter is very happy with, with, with this group. I mean, I'm looking especially at Celtic here. We have a really, really big green bar because, you know, with Leipzig and Schachter, those are all doable opponents. Man City probably doesn't really care, but Sevilla and Copenhagen is uh, not happy. And in Group H, I am surprised. I mean, Maccabi, yes, this is tough, but I think that all other three, they're looking at this and say, yeah, we got a chance. We got a chance in there. Overall, winners and losers, and this is now again, you see here the percent changes for the different probabilities, you know, first group, second, third, fourth, I have sorted them by advancing to the next round and then qualifying semi final, final and winning. Uh, and you see just for the uh, draw that I saw, sorry, by the chances of advancing because that's basically what the group is about. Celtic and Marseille are the big winners and Club Rouge in there as well sporting. So you see a lot of the um, teams that are not on the top because for the top, top, top teams advancing is probably relatively easy uh, anyway. But, uh, you know, the first big team, Real Madrid, got a really nice draw. Spurs, as I said, will be happy. PSG also, but they are very, very minor changes. On the flip side, if we look now at the negative surprises, um, yeah, 
Is anyone surprised that there is uh, Victor Pilsen in there, there's Copenhagen in there, there's Inter in there, there's Napoli in there, there's Sevilla in there. So yeah, uh, it is definitely Barcelona, Ajax. Those are teams that are not entirely happy. I see here Milan just below Salzburg, but you know, rather in this middle range where we also find Liverpool, Dortmund and the like. Final slide is, of course, who are the favorites and how has this changed? I did not change my background a whole lot because I thought that the Barcelona away jersey looks better between the two white instead of flipping Barcelona and Spurs. Um, but yeah, that is one flip. Spurs definitely improved their chances by quite some, uh, where Barcelona's chances, you know, went down, so they lost a few spots. Uh, you see in the top 10, that's the only movement there, uh, even the top 12. Juve, as I said, a little bit happy. Moving up as it is to Dortmund, and uh, I was surprised to see Napoli uh, move, moving up as well. Seemingly, the chances of winning, yeah, if they would advance, they have advanced. Um, I don't know, I'm just making up stuff along the way. So, yeah, these are my analysis. I would like to know what you think about the draw. Do you roughly agree a, with the feeling and what's more with the numbers that I put out there? Uh, because I, th I, th I think it's always uh, cool to see a little bit quantitatively how things are panning out. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.